I mean, it's so cute. Just looking at it makes me happy. They're, they're little delicate flowers. I have a prev, a, a prev, a shop, shop. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I actually don't have a ton to share with you because we were on vacation last week and that's why I didn't have a Friday favorites. I had a different video up and I pretty much just like took a few items and so those are my favorites. And then I have one other thing that I used before vacation and after vacation. So yeah, we had a great time in Boston. Oh my gosh, I love that city. It's just beautiful and historical and charming and we had a blast. So yeah, I've got some vacation-y sort of favorites to show you. So let's jump into it. Sadly, even on vacation, I didn't have anything on my nails. I intended to get like a gel manicure before we went. That didn't happen. I was gonna paint my own nails before we went. That didn't happen either. I even brought nail polish with me to be able to paint them while we were there, and that didn't happen either. So, nothing on my nails this week, but as far as eyes and cheeks, these are what I was grabbing for, and I love these palettes. They are just perfect for traveling, and they started out limited edition, but I believe that they're part of their permanent line now because I see them in stores, I see them online, and yeah, I think they're awesome. I would love for them to come out with more. I would get more of these. Let me actually tell you what they are. I actually wore this one more, so I'm gonna start with this one and show you this one. This is the Tarte Showstopper Clay Palette, and it just has everything you need. Like, you've got all of your colors, you've got all of your eyeshadow colors, you've got a highlighter, you've got a bronzer, a blush, I use this one as a crease color. I mean, it does have like transition colors in the palettes, but I feel like the bronzer works perfectly for that. So love this palette. Um, standouts for me from this one. Love this color. Um, I love, I've got lipstick on my hand from doing the little like check thing to make sure I don't have lipstick on <laughs> my teeth. I have it on my finger. So anyway, I love this one. I love the highlighter. And then even this one, this kind of like warm, I don't know, kind of light chocolatey brown. So pretty. Wear it, I need to get some Garnier Micellar Water, take care of that lipstick. But let me just show you these swatches first because they're really, really pretty. These are nice quality, like they blend really well, they wear well. I mean, that one is just, oh, that's a standout. That is so pretty. So yeah, I just, I think this palette is great. When I first got the Showstopper, it beat out the uh, Rainforest After Dark, which is the other one. I liked the Showstopper better, and I still really love it, but actually like bringing them both, I was grabbing for the Rainforest After Dark more, but this one is a great palette and I did wear it. So I would definitely recommend it, especially if you like, like, you know, especially like bronzy eye looks and warm blush colors. Let me quickly show you the blush because it's that really pretty kind of a orangey. I mean, it's pretty much straight up orange. Yeah, but it is beautiful. So yes, that's the showstopper. And then the Rainforest After Dark has this kind of like cool, fakey wood sort of packaging. I really like the packaging of the showstopper too. Um, so they're both really cool looking. And I like that they're a circle. I think that's just kind of like a something different and fun. So this one is the Rainforest After Dark. This one is more like purples and very neutral. This gold is amazing. I almost don't even want to swatch it because I don't want to waste it because that's one that I grabbed for the most. Um, I really love the highlighter in this one. This one is, I believe, called just Champagne. And that one I think is Pink Champagne and the other one I like champagne a little bit better. It's more kind of like golden. I don't know if I already said this, but I'm wearing this one on my eyes today. And it is just gorgeous. This gold is amazing. This kind of purpley burgundy is amazing. The highlighter is gorgeous. And the blush is like a beautiful everyday pinky color. It's really not showing up very well, but I have it on my cheeks so you can see what it looks like. And I have the highlighter on my cheeks so you can see what it looks like and the bronzer and the shadows and it's all right here. But this palette is awesome. It is just ideal for travel. I literally just took these and a cream shadow for a brow bone highlight. Really didn't even need to do that. I just could have used my powder. 
Um, and then I did bring like a glittery sort of a shadow just for funsies, but I didn't even use that. So yes, highly recommend these palettes. For lips this week, this worked out great for travel as well. I brought quite a few of my little baby lipsticks. So I still had a lot of options, but you know, they're smaller. A lot of times they weigh less because they're not like the same weighty packaging as the original version, like the mama size, the little baby size is usually lighter. So these worked really well for travel. And then I was able to bring these around with me in my purse. I did have two other options that I brought, but I didn't end up wearing those. I just wore these. So these were my two favorites and I kept them in my purse and I wore these the whole time. So first, this is one of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks, and this is in Cabana Boy. I've mentioned this before, but it is just gorgeous. It is like a neutrally pinky mauve that is just creamy and pigmented and opaque and gorgeous, and I love it. It's a gorgeous color. I've mentioned this about these lipsticks before. These are really delicate lipsticks, so they break easily. Um, I didn't find that with the little baby. Like I just keep it really close. Like I don't, you know, twirl it up a lot. I really just keep it low. And I think that kind of helps. So just be sort of careful with them because they're, they're little delicate flowers and you don't want to break them off when you're using them. But I do really like the formula and this color is just a beautiful neutral sort of shade. And then this one I wore even more. I love this color. This is one of the Marc Jacobs Lamarck lipsticks. This is one of the options for the birthday gift from Sephora this year. So I picked this little, it was the Marc Jacobs set. So it was this and then the little mini eyeliner sort of thing. So this is one of the Lamarck lipsticks and this is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And it is just I mean, it's so cute. Just looking at it makes me happy because that's stinking adorable. That is so cute. But this is like a beautiful kind of like, I don't know, terracotta toned, reddish sort of a pink. I don't know, like it's, it's a pink, but it has quite a bit of red in it. But then it also has that sort of like terracotta twist to it. You know what I mean? But you can see it's creamy, pigmented, opaque, beautiful, still like not crazy bright or super duper statement lip, but I mean, you have some color there. Like there's some good color. So it still does sort of like have a, pre a, a, pre a presence to it. You know what I mean? I really love it. That one is so pretty. And I just found myself grabbing for this a lot. And what I have on my lips right now, oh my goodness, this lipstick is amazing. It's one of the new um, Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. So first off the liner I have on, this is NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Bloom. Just a really pretty kind of like, I don't know, a kind of a purpley sort of a pink, honestly. Like it's not dead on to this lipstick, but it still works, it's close enough. So this is one of the Vice lipsticks. This is in Psycho and it's a comfort matte. Let me show you so you can see a little bit better. So it's a comfort matte and what it is is like a reddish raspberry sort of pink with blue sparkle. Blue sparkle. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because really it, I mean, the main thing you see is just obviously the color of it, that it's that sort of raspberry, beautiful, pinky red kind of a shade. But then, like it, maybe you can see it there, it sort of shifts and you can definitely see the micro shimmer. Um, I can feel them a tiny little bit on my lips, but I mean, like, I have to rub my lips together and really think about it to know that they're there. You know what I mean? They're really comfortable. The little shimmers are really comfortable and they're just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think it's such a fun, interesting shade. You know, I was looking through a lot of these and I do have three more colors. Um, the other ones I have swatched on my Instagram. So if you want to see a few more colors, check my Instagram. But this one, when I was swatching them all was just the standout because it's so 
unique and beautiful and fun. It's just a fun lipstick color and I love it. No fooies this week, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.